Handmade paper crafted using a centuries-old recipe. This piece of handicraft is the work of Gangolf Ulbricht. In his Berlin workshop, he casts an expert eye over paper damaged in the fire at the Anna Amalia Library in Weimar in 2004. The blaze destroyed or severely damaged more than 100,000 literary works from across the ages. Restoring the books to their original condition requires handmade paper made to historical specifications. And that is where Ulbricht comes in. As an authority on paper and cellulose, he has plenty of experience in the ancient trade of making paper by hand. This is paper that was specially developed for the restoration of books damaged in the fire at the Anna Amalia Library in Weimar. The colors were made to match the originals. They were made using the relevant combination of natural pigments. Regardless of the type of paper in question, Ulbricht knows the secrets of its composition. Besides writing paper, he also makes custom-produced pages for artists, or the lightest paper in the world for the restoration of old books. In keeping with a 500-year-old tradition, the raw materials are put into a special mixer which works them into pulp. In bygone days, paper was not made from wood, but from cotton, flax, linen, hemp, or sometimes even from bamboo. But the most frequent component was old rags from worn-out clothing, torn into little pieces. Paper has quality characteristics. I always say that paper has a certain character. It's made up of fibers as a result of processing and production. Grasp, sound, density, surface, transparency, pressure characteristics, folding characteristics and so on are the things that make paper what it is. In 2001, Ubrich was commissioned to restore a decorative border from the Paritz Palace in Brandenburg. The original vine leaf border in King Friedrich Wilhelm III study was beyond repair, so the paper expert created a replica using historical patterns. The actual creation process is the most important thing when it comes to handmade paper. Using a framed screen, Ulbricht makes each sheet individually. And once they're formed, they have to be pressed and dried. It's a long process, which explains why paper was so expensive well into the 19th century. These days, few people still command this age-old art. When I'm making paper, I have to be careful that every sheet is consistent, which means always taking the same amount of fibers and checking that right and left, top and bottom are even. The fibers are different, and I have to remember how I made it, and sometimes even tailor my movements to the paper. But not everything the paper expert makes harks back to the past. For the Canadian Embassy in Berlin, Ubrich made a room divider, over 10 meters long and three and a half meters high. The challenge was to make it so that it could be rolled up without creasing a challenge that excites the paper craftsmen. It's called making paper by hand. It's a creative process. And I can choose everything from the raw materials to the processing to the end product. And the quality is palpable and visual. And that's what makes the difference. Books like this one from the Anna Amalia Library in Weimar have been restored. Signs of the fire are still visible. Nevertheless, by 2015, thanks to Gangolf Ubricht, a large number of the damaged books will be back on the library shelves.